I'm Jesse. I wear many hats, and this is the pre recorded podcast of my adventures for the week. I am busy. I'm taking a hiatus. I don't typically get these. There's going to be no point this week. It's going to be one of those years where there's only 51 points. I know it. It's just, it's so horrendous. And this is not streaming on Twitch. Later on in the week, I've got a couple pre-recorded Taiwan specials. I'm going to put up both of them. I might make it a Thursday, Friday thing instead of a Wednesday, Thursday. So the Friday would be the bonus episode. Uh, I'm going to talk about Apple computers. I I get asked over here in Taiwan, uh, you know, what we need to be doing. And I, I mean, I, I sometimes it's, it's, it's like really you're asking me that like you don't know this and it's like yeah yeah people don't know this so i explained it uh what is an apple computer and why should you or should you not use it like you know what is uh linux if you want kids to learn computers they need to be doing linux and uh, apple computers used in education uh they're not going to learn anything about computers they'll learn about other stuff they'll use a computer to do other things but don't think that apple computers in a school means that kids are going to know diddly about computers. They might actually even know less about computers because they'll think they know and then they actually don't know anything and so they'll think, I know computers, and they don't. (coughs) It's actually an interesting thing. A lot of the software I run into that's really messed up and whack comes from people that are writing Linux software, you know, website software, but they're using Apple computers to do their developing on. I, I, I think that there's, it's just, it's like, Apple computers are this high, uh, this high maintenance, high end luxury user consumer experience. They just want everything just given to. They want you to come over and butter their bread for them. They 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 just they want you to stir their coffee. They want you to hold the coffee cup while they drink from it. Like, like they just want everything done for them. That's what Apple users are when it comes to computer technology. So it, that's fine. But if you're going to develop software, if you want to be the one that makes the software, if you want to be the barista, then you should be angry if someone else holds the coffee cup while you drink from it. If you want to be a barista. So it's like never trust, never trust software that was written by someone who was using an Apple computer to do it. That that person should say, I don't want to feel the UX, the the user experience. I want to create the user experience for someone else. So I want to be in the shop and see all the components and parts all around. So I'm going to explain that a little bit later on in the week. With uh, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be basically the same punchline, but I'm gonna explain it from from different angles. It'll like feel like it was the same talk, but it was a lot of different content. It'll be one of those. So there'll be two of those, two Taiwan specials talking about Apple computers coming later on. Um, I also, I, you know, uh, Avengers. I saw Infinity War. Um, I saw it Wednesday. Now you can check my Instagram account. It, it was it it was uh, open on the twenty fourth, which would have been the twenty third over in America. Um, yeah, no. What would it have been? It would have been the twenty fourth, about eight in the morning, uh, over in America. So I uh, I saw it on opening day, Avengers Endgame. I don't. Did I say Infinity War? I don't know. Endgame. April 24, it it debuted in Taiwan. I think they're doing stuff early in Asia now to kind of get, it might be to gauge the audience because America is their main market and they want to know what people say about it. I think it's kind of a sneak peek type of a market, uh, but not so sneaky. If you're here, you can see it. I'll tell you, Endgame, um, by the time this video comes out, you might be approaching the, the day when Endgame comes out. But I'll tell you, it was just hard to watch. Um, that that that's I don't want to spoil it. I, I said it on Twitter. Endgame was difficult to watch because um, it, uh, you know, I, for example, I'm not not giving spoilers here, but you know, Eric Evans, as we know, he's not doing any more Captain America movies, and. That means that they're going to bring some sort of a, of course, 
they're going to bring some sort of a conclusion to the Eric Evans role. And anything that has a conclusion type of a thing, especially for a family of different cross-linking series that have been going on, you know, I mean, Eric Evans was even in the second Thor movie for a little bit. Um, whenever there's something of a conclusive nature, it's it's going to have kind of a nostalgic, you know, this is our last party um, type of a feel somewhere in there. So it was really hard to watch from that, but it was really well done. And like all their movies, they, I mean, almost every single scene uh, was worth a, a wall size poster. Um so I'm I'm I don't want to I don't want to have any spoilers. Uh, Vision never showed up at all. So my my theory about Vision being in the Mind Stone or in the in the Gauntlet somewhere uh, could could theoretically be true. They could have a spinoff story. But I I had this theory about Vision somewhere, and they they left it open. I I'm only assuming that the directors saw my 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 fan theory because I think that they were vetting all the fan theories to make sure that that nothing that anyone theorized happened. At least they were trying that. I heard. Um, let's see. I this well here's the point with with the end game. I remember watching Iron Man in the theaters from the beginning, the very first one. I remember watching Iron Man all the way to the end. I watched Hulk in the theaters, uh, the, the the first Hulk movie. And and as, as Mark Ruffalo has said, Hulk really doesn't have a standalone. He can have an origin movie, but he doesn't really have a standalone plot. So they kind of weave Hulk's story through others. And he's joked about that. The... Um, I've watched every single one of these and I really, you know, watching all of these from the beginning, I, I Hulk and Iron Man are really when the whole thing kind of began and it's, it's been, it's been a long 11 years and I really feel like you, you know, when you, you, you watch one of those series is like a TV series with like five seasons or 10 seasons or something. And you watch all the seasons and you, you get all the way done. You, you just, you just feel like you're saying goodbye to family. And I'm left with that empty feeling. And it's driving me to say, I don't know if I could exhaust myself for another decade with another one of these things. I have no interest in DC. It's plot and special effects driven. Very disappointed. And and people talk about that. Um, I did enjoy Man of Steel. But uh, it pretty much stopped there. I'm being driven to write my own book. I've had a plot that I've been working on for... Uh, we're pushing 10 years. I've got stories and scenes that I wrote 10 years ago. A lot of it ties to, to Ophanim I, which is, which is my fiction book. Uh, it's an anthology of angels. So I don't know what I'm going to call the series. I've got some of the ideas already written. I've got a lot of the ideas in my little own world already in place. I might, I might fill the Marvel void uh, with writing my own story. It's just a thought. The big issue is I've got to work on my ink verb stuff. Um, right now, github.com slash ink verb, I-N-K-V-E-R-B. Um, I'm taking the verb dash dev repo and I'm colliding it with the Y-E-O repo and I'm, I'm writing the yo files for it and I'm not done yet. Um, but once I get done with that, I will have a full command line C panel. It, it'll I, I say like C panel, comparable to C panel. It, it would it would be a competitor of C panel. Uh, it'd be fully open source command line C panel, and it just needs to have a node GUI written over top of it. And that's uh, GitHub.com 
uh, slash ink verb, the, uh, the verb dash dev repo, the ink or the ink dash dev repo and the YEO repo. Um, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. Um, but I just personally feel like as I finish up a number of other projects, if, as I get this yo stuff done, I'm, I'm already, I've already got 10,000 words written in another book, which is going to be, um, about Trump stuff. And I'll look at that. I'm over my time. It's 10 minutes. I got to go. Uh, this is what I'm up to and this is why I'm doing it.